Which electric car breaks the record for driving distance without a charge? Are solar cells being added into windows? And a big wind farm project is completed in California. This is your daily energy report. report for Thursday, October the 28th. I'm Ben Lack and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. If there's one thing at which Germans excel, it has to be their cars. There are the brand names like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and of course the Volkswagen. But now the German Audi has set the record for the longest distance driven by an electric car. The Audi A2 completed a 600 kilometer, about 373 mile journey from Munich to Berlin without having to recharge the car. The world is used to saying electric cars travel between 50 to 100 miles per charge. However, the Germans have put the rest of the world to shame. The electric A2 completed its journey in a mere seven hours on a single charge. Oxford University in the UK has invented an easy way for households to use solar energy in the future. The institution has won thousands of dollars in prize money for the invention of solar cells that can be installed onto the glass of a window, thereby allowing windows to produce power. The solar cells are coated with a solar sensitive dye that releases an electron when exposed to sunlight, which starts a current. Although solar power seems to be leading the news with its latest innovations, wind energy is not far behind. Renewable Energy Systems Americas Inc announced the completion of the construction at the Hatchet Ridge Wind Farm Project near Shasta County, California. The project boasts 44 2.3 megawatt turbines manufactured by Siemens. And the construction phase provided up to 200 local jobs and the energy produced will serve almost 44,000 homes per year. The Hatchet Project is the only large-scale wind initiative to reach full operation by the end of this year. Now that the project is operational, the wind farm will still benefit its community through the payment of property taxes and its $5 million investment in the Shasta County's General Fund, the Bernie Fall River Education Foundation, and the Bernie Regional Community Fund. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day. Thank you.